What's happening, man? It's the HVAC Papa here. Guys, we are in New York City, baby. That's right. We're in Uptown Manhattan, Harlem to be exact. And right now, you're looking at me, and you, what you see behind me are three Mitsubishi units. We have a City Multi on your right, and we have two regular condensers on the on your left. So, guys, what are we looking at? So, we, these are condensation units. So, just to give you a little, uh, little um, FYI, what we're doing today, we're actually doing a... Um, <clears throat> Insulation on all the piping, all the copper piping, also known as line sets. And then we're also doing the PMs on the condenser. We're chemical cleaning the coils, the condenser coils. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. So guys, we had to take every single condenser apart and clean them and clean them thoroughly. No different than when you go to our car wash to have, you know, basic, the, the basic all the way to the platinum package, right? You have small, medium, large. Well, we give them a package to clean the condensers thoroughly because that's the proper way to do it. That's the only way to do them. So, guys, if you want to get clean your condensers, you can reach out to me, Louis the Boilermaid, HVAC Poppy, 516-377-5200. But most importantly, guys, you got to do your maintenance. So the next thing we're doing as well, we're insulating the copper lines, like I said earlier in the video. We're doing that because, first of all, they should be insulated. And the reason why <clears throat> there was no insulation before, because just, you know, just standard stuff, being on the roof, being exposed to the sun every day, to the rain, to, you know, the, just the outdoor element, they deteriorate within time, right? So we have to um, re-insulate them, of course, because the main reason is efficiency. You lose efficiency, especially on the suction line, which gets cold. And guys, especially on a hot day, you don't want to lose any efficiency, especially when we call um, heat transfer or heat loss, I should say. So you don't want to do that because guess what? It's going to cost you money in your pocket. But most importantly, guys, when that hot, humid day hits and you're saying, damn, it's hot, but it's, it's not performing. It's not performing. Well, part of the reason is because the pipes are not insulated, guys. It's super important. Come over here. Let me show you guys. So come over here. Take a look. So right over here, this is where the penetration comes. And I mean penetration from the roof, not the other type of penetration, but penetration from the pipes coming up from inside the building to into the roof. You guys can see here, so we had to put some tar, or we call it flashing cement. And so we do that because we don't want any water going inside the ceiling or into the building itself. Then, of course, right after the penetration, and once everything is nice and watertight and sealed, now we got our insulation, also called Armor Flex. So you see all this Armor Flex over here? They're going all the way to the condensing units. And the reason for that, guys, again, we want to make sure they're well insulated so the pipes don't condensate. As they condensate, because these pipes, they're going to get cold. So things what happens, what happens in your car when it gets really hot outside and really cold inside your car, right? What happens? It condensates. It, your glass starts sweating. Well, the same thing happens here. And all that efficiency, all that, you know, that um, well, in this case, you want it to be ice cold, right? Not the car because you're gonna lose your efficiency through the condensation. Well, that's the same thing. So you wanna make sure that these lines set, especially on the suction um, line, usually the fatter line, the fatter line, that's right. You want to make sure that they're well insulated, they don't condensate, so they don't underperform. Because you will notice the difference on a day that's really hot, humid, high humidity, 90 plus degrees outside. You're going to say, shit, this is working, but it could work better. Well, have you done your maintenance, number one. Two, have you have your pipes well insulated? Because especially if you have a unit like this in the roof, it's very common here in New York City. Hey, if it's, out, it's, it's in the outdoor element and chances are you haven't done any type of maintenance, I'm pretty sure that your insulation is deteriorating, you're falling apart, and it's just as important, no difference than having insulation in your home. So guys, if you have any questions, call Louis the Boilerman Web, 516-377-5200. Don't forget to smash that bell button, leave a comment below. Until next time, whip out. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Woo! Check this out. Okay. I look good. Okay. On the street and I got my swag on. Okay. Get the money, gotta get my bag on. Okay. Triple back.